In third grade, we realized that Isabella was a little bit behind in her schoolwork. But again, it was only third grade. It is a private school in uh, the Los Angeles area. By the fourth grade, we knew that there was definitely some issues. So after school tutors with the teacher and some extra help. By the time we were changing schools, we knew that there was more than just a little bit of um, a, an educational behavioral problem. You know, the trying was always there and she wasn't succeeding. She was losing self-confidence in herself. She began getting, turning inward, being more quiet, um, doubting every move. Oh, it was just killing us. It was, it was the saddest thing until again we heard about the Amen Clinic. When we came in to meet with Dr. Darmal and to find out what the scans read, uh, the spec scans read, it was almost a breath of fresh air. Um, we start out with her front cortex and it was active and normal and we're pleased to see that. But it's when we saw the second scan where her brain was on fire and we had just, it was like a lightning bolt in the back of her head. And we knew that her brain was literally tired in all retrospect and layman's terms. Her brain never shut down. And um, it was quite a relief. So through diet and exercise, which my husband and I claimed that we wanted to try first, of course, diet and exercise, within three weeks, Isabel's grades went from Fs, mostly Fs, and Ds went to C's and D's. Within six weeks of diet and exercise, and with, excuse me, the vitamins as well, which was very important, vitamins were very important, she went to almost all C's. When the school then told us that she would not be able to really come back to the school, we immediately called the Amon Clinic, and Dr. Darmal and my husband and I decided that we were going to take Isabella and put her on prescriptions. Within three weeks of prescriptions, Isabel became a B student at a very hard private school. This shows you that if you don't take a picture of your brain, you won't really truly know. We adjusted the medicine but never increased the dosage, which is amazing. Um, Isabel's on the the lowest form of a drug called gabapentin, which calms her calm brain, and then of course the focalin that activates the front part of your cortex for her to focus. The reason why we also chose the focalin and agreed with Dr. Dormal, because we had to play a little bit of a catch up. We have never increased that dosage either, but when she also has brain vacations. If she's not in school, we do not give her focalin. Gabapentin, probably the rest of her young life, um, and then of course will be retested when she turns 16. Isabella now is 14 years old. Isabella is in eighth grade applying to her freshman year at an extremely difficult time of children entering high schools. My daughter is applying for an ISEE school, private school in Pasadena, the school that I actually went to, which is very demanding. Over one thousand young women will apply to this high school and only 85 will make it. I am sure Isabella now with all A's, all A's and one B plus will make it fine into the high school that I attended. We've got this incredible young lady again who is going to try out for you know, Rose Queen and will try out for Miss California USA or Miss Teen USA that will go out to be president of her student body. That is what we brought back. You know, we spent over, for 18 months, over $30,000. And we didn't get anywhere. And here we are at the Amen Clinic, and we found exactly what we needed. So all that money and time and energy, of course, our backs were against the wall, and we didn't know where to go to. And here we are. It was pennies. To get, pennies to keep your children happy and, and to be productive in society. It's it needs to have this done because in the long run, when you have that success for a child, it's a reflection on you and the dedication you want for your children. We all want the best for our kids. We don't want them to struggle. Why not know what's in that beautiful head of theirs? It's a scary process. Who's kidding who? 
It's frightening. The, the doubtfulness, the unknowing is much more expensive and it's much more uncertain and it's much more devastating. So the knowledge of the Amen Clinic is worth billions.